Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Yield two minutes to the gentleman from Wisconsin, Mr. Fitzgerald. Gentleman from Wisconsin is recognized for two minutes. Mr. Speaker, I thank the ranking member. Um, there is a motion to recommit that I would like to offer. If we adopt a motion to recommit, we will instruct the House Committee on Judiciary to consider the amendment to H.R. 1808, which excludes active duty and retired military from the ban on assault weapons. I therefore ask unanimous consent to include the text of the amendment in the record immediately prior to the vote on the motion to recommit. Without objection. Mr. Speaker, just imagine you're a 17-year-old who makes a decision to enlist in the Army, the Marine Corps, the Navy, and then that 17-year-old goes through eight weeks of basic combat training, BCT, at one of, the, one of the basic training centers in Fort Jackson or Fort Knox or Fort Benning. And then they're given a service weapon, an M16 typically, and taught to assemble, disassemble that weapon down to the bolt. They'll go through the training with the drill sergeant. They'll be on a range, on a live fire range with this service weapon. And then the 17-year-old go to AIT to be taught their specialty and continue to be on active duty or in the reserves or in the National Guard and then potentially deployed. What this bill seeks to do is prevent this member of the military who comes home either to the reserving or National Guard unit or on active duty from purchasing a rifle that they can use on their own. My colleagues who support the bill are saying, we trusted you to join the service. We encouraged you to join the service. But now when it comes down to it, we really don't trust you to go out and purchase that weapon. It makes no sense. If the majority is going to snub every veteran in this country by saying, we don't trust you, how can the US government ask someone to enlist when they don't trust them to have the same responsibility with their own personal weapon? Mr. Speaker, if we adopt the motion to recommit, we will instruct the Committee on Judiciary to consider my amendment to H.R. 1808 to ensure that the nation's active duty members and veterans will be Gentleman's trusted. time has expired. Three seconds. Gentleman is uh, recognized for another 30 seconds. Mr. Speaker, it's still amazing to me that the majority rejected this in the Judiciary Committee. They talk a good game when it comes to veterans, but when it comes right down to it, they don't trust them. And I yield back. 